Welcome to the Home Kit 5 Podcast. I'm Josh. I'm Braden. This week, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see we're a little different again. Uh, we're going to talk about the IKEA Home Kit Smart Blinds again. We're going to talk about Home Pass being updated, and we only have three stories. So we're going to talk about uh, a little update on the UV indoor cameras because we got more info there. So let's dive into it. Uh, IKEA smart blinds are finally available online for purchase. So you don't have to go into that coronavirus infested IKEA store. Actually, I don't even know if they're open. They're probably not considered an essential business, at least here in Ohio. Yeah. Um, but you can now order them online. Looks like they have all the sizes available, uh, and they will ship them to your house. The shipping does seem based on like how close uh, you are to it. Uh, one person reported uh, uh, that I follow on Twitter said five dollars. Um, this article says uh, they were seeing a $199 charge uh, on iMore. So, you know, I also wonder, like, can we, I don't think they have, like, in-store, like, I can do an online purchase and pick up in-store, but that would be ideal, I think, to save on shipping. Um, but if you're interested, you know, you have to have the, the trad-free gateway, I guess that's how you say that, and then the the blinds just hook up to that and then you can control, you know, the raising and, and lowering of the blinds from there. So I don't know. I keep kicking around the idea of maybe getting some for the big upstairs window on the okay. back of the house, but I need like eight of them. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> also worry like size wise, like I don't want to leave a gap, but all the windows are very close together. So who knows? Okay, Home Pass, the update. Um, it brings a lot of cool new features, um, but Home Pass in general, it's a way to store your devices uh, to basically, like, you can back up, right? You can create a backup of all your devices. No, 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 not on Home that's Pass. That's not. Yeah, that's, that's controller. Yeah. Uh, Home Pass is the one that allows you to, like, we can take a snapshot of the code and it'll save the code right. in in the database mm -hmm. yeah um so with this it allows you to store some mac addresses um yeah there's custom fields was the big add-on here um so you could like if you want to you can add mac addresses to it or uh other information that might be specific to a device uh, and they, they've reworked the layout. I actually think I like the layout a little bit better. Like when you come in there, it's just, it's like, uh, sorted by room. So that's kind of nice. Um, it also adds, uh, some Siri shortcut integration. Yeah. I was kind of excited to see that. I don't know how I would integrate this into a shortcut, but, uh, I'm always a fan of like, as I'm moving more and more to the iPad, like I want more shortcut support on things. So that was kind of nice to see. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, new layouts, custom fields. Shortcut, X. Yeah. Uh, they are automatically saving the serial number along with the default device name, manufacturer model info whenever you add an accessory so that's kind of nice to see that's probably an easy place to go see serial numbers for your whole house if you need to i don't know is that something you can see from home kit i don't even know or from the home app i guess mm, crazy all right again late news week coming into easter here uh the UV indoor camera uh, will arrive in May, is what we're hearing now. So it sounds like it'll be available April 15th to order. It sounds like both of them might be available on that date to order. Uh, and it turns out both of them are 2K cameras. So uh, the original story that we saw posted had the indoor, like non-pan and tilt uh, as a 1080p, but it turns out, according to this, it's, it's going to be a 2K. So... Uh, super excited about that. Uh, and they have storage up to 128 gigs via micro SD card. Um, I don't, I wonder if it's going to come with the card or maybe it has a little bit of onboard storage and you add the card. Uh, not seeing that listed here. Um, but 
I was super excited to actually see these prices. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were way better than I thought. I thought these things were going to be around 99 bucks, mm-hmm. maybe even higher for the pan and tilt. The pan and tilt is $50 and the non pan and tilt is, uh, $40. So forty nine ninety nine and thirty nine ninety nine uh, from the sounds of it. And so if you order in April, it sounds like they'll, they're planning to have deliveries sometime in May. So I'm super excited. I think I'm going to spring for the non pan and tilt for the garage. Mm-hmm. Um, that just seems like a great price to me and you don't even need the home base. So I don't know your thoughts. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. Were you a little shocked by the price? Yes, I definitely was. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, like we said, it's going to be a short news week. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, let us know what you think about the setup here. We uh, we got the new boom arms. Uh, this is my same mic I've had. We've got Brayden on a new mic, so hopefully he sounds a little bit different, a little better. Uh, we've got the we've got the new background here. I made a black one that goes on the TV. We're still tweaking the lighting. I'm not sure I'm in love with this, but we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, if you uh, are listening as a podcast, be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up. And uh, as always, if you want to keep finding our YouTube content, like we put out a new video this past week on like HomeKit automations, uh, like the basics, uh, then be sure to hit subscribe and you'll you'll get notified about those things. Uh, Hit the bell. They'll definitely notify you at that point. Um... Yeah, and then we'll probably, I don't know if we'll work on anything this week because we're going to do some Easter stuff, but uh, next week we might have the uh, Sylvania kind of set up and review video, and then the week after that we might try to do the advanced shortcut automation video, uh, and as always, you know, we're we're sitting down every week and doing the podcast, so thanks for tuning in. Catch you next week.